Maggie Ryan, Unite, speaking to the Work and Pensions, sorry, Work Pensions and Equality section of the National Policy Forum report, and with particular reference to the paragraphs on equality reps. Conference. The report makes reference to the crucial role of union equality reps, and we welcome that. But I know that as an, as an equality rep in my workplace, I can't do the, the role justice without statutory rights. That means proper facility time. At the moment, I have to do things on the run. Put simply, you just can't give members the full service that they deserve. Conference, we need to ensure that equality reps have the time they need to protect workers from discrimination. At our historic women's conference on Saturday, delegates made powerful, passionate speeches on how sexual harassment is on the rise. Our members are constantly fighting for their rights in the face of some hostile employers. The flood of disclosures from Hollywood to the Houses of Parliament have recently illustrated the enormous scale of the problem across all sectors in work and out. Over half of all women, including two-thirds of young women, have experienced sexual harassment in the workplace. And unions have been leading the way in tackling this. And union equality reps play a vital role. I am proud that Unite's equality policies were in Labour's radical manifesto, a manifesto which represented hope, belief and optimism. This means that under a Labour government, equality reps will no longer have second-class rights and will have time to protect the people they represent. Unite will be fighting all out for an early general election and a Labour victory that can achieve the manifesto's 20-point commitments for security and equality at work. It will be this that will really transform our society. Thank you.